The Saudi Game of Thrones again. It can be fodder for a TV series. It is complicated, it is scandalous, and it is never ending. It's been three years since the Saudi palace coup. But looks like Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is not yet done removing all possible opponents. Here's the latest episode. MBS, Mohammed bin Salman, has waged a Twitter war now. His target is former Crown Prince Mohammed bin Naif. The ammo of choice is Mohammed bin Naif's aide and former Intel official, Saad al-Jabri. Now, before I tell you what's happening, allow me to quickly tell you a little more about MBN, Mohammed bin Naif, so that you can understand why all of this is happening. Mohammed bin Naif is a member of the Saudi royal family. He's 60 years old. He's the grandson of Saudi Arabia's founding monarch, King Abdulaziz, meaning he's a cousin of Mohammed bin Salman. Mohammed bin Naif was appointed Crown Prince by King Salman in April 2015. Back then, he was already serving as the Interior Minister of Saudi Arabia. He held a powerful position. Two years later, he was asked to step aside and make way for his cousin, Mohammed bin Salman, the current Crown Prince. Mohammed bin Naif also lost the Interior Ministry. While at office, he was seen as the most pro-US leader. He played a major role in Saudi Arabia's internal security policies. He was called the Prince of Counter-Terrorism for his crackdown on Al-Qaeda. So two takeaways from Mohammed bin Naif's story. First, he is a prominent member of the Saudi royal family. And second, he enjoys support at home and abroad. And both of these points do not go down very well with the current crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. The Crown Prince has cracked down on any leader who he views as a potential threat to power. And the clampdowns have been rather ruthless and Shakespearean. There was no way a leader as prominent as Mohammed bin Naif was going to be an exception. So he was detained in the month of March this year. No one knows where he is, where he's being held. The Crown Prince's men have been trying to dig dirt on this man. They seem to have found a sheep in former intelligence officer Saad al-Jabri. Now, Saad is a friend of Mohammed bin Naif. He's currently in exile in Canada. According to reports, Saad al-Jafri led a network of officials who misspent $11 billion of government money. The money was from the Interior Ministry Fund. So basically, Saudi authorities want to accuse Mohammed bin Naif of misusing money or of being involved in Jabri's alleged co corruption. Remember, Mohammed bin Naif was the interior minister at the time. So what Saudi authorities want to prove is that the money was misspent under his watch. We do not know if there are any documents to prove their involvement in the alleged corruption. But we ha what we can tell you is that MBS is trying his best to sway public opinion against these two people. Tweets with the hashtag Fugitive Saad Al Jabri and Saad Al Jabri's corruption picked pace over the weekend. Questions were raised on Mohammed bin Naif's loyalty to the kingdom. Experts say the campaign was being led by pro government Twitter users. So here's another question Why is all of this happening now? What explains the timing of this campaign, the latest round of purge, or the attempt to remove Al Naif from public life? The answer may lie in the upcoming U.S. election. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia is trying to quash all possible opposition ahead of the November polls. He fears Donald Trump's loss. Democratic nominee Joe Biden has promised to make MBS pay for the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. He has also vowed to end arms sales to Saudi Arabia. So putting Mohammed Al Naif behind bars is part of Mohammed bin Salman's forward planning in case Donald Trump loses. And there is a mounting global pressure against MBS. He can continue to remain in power by removing every possible opposition to his throne and nipping counter coups in the bud. King Salman's brother, Prince Ahmed bin Abdulaziz, is also in detention. And Mohammed bin Naif who was long seen as an heir to the throne, will soon be removed from public life on corruption charges. So who is left? We'll wait and see.